Hello, good evening, my friends. Welcome to another English class. Well, class number, I'm sorry. This is the class number 18. So it means that we have just two more classes left and we're going to finish this uh, program. Okay, so the topic for tonight is how to use if and when to join cloud. Okay, so if and when are two important words uh, that we commonly use when we want to connect ideas, when we want to connect some important ideas. And we're going to study uh, this grammar point during this class. So let's uh, check if you are there. Daniel, are you there? Okay, just to, to see or to You're check. present. Okay, thank you, Daniel. Perfect. What about Evelyn? Present, teacher. Okay, nice. Really nice to, to have you here. Um, what about Guillermo? Good evening, Guillermo. Everything okay? Yes, teacher. Good evening. Perfect. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Guillermo. And Andre Pardo, uh, he's as a listener. He uh, sent a message and he says that he's going to connect later. Okay. So, um, we're going to wait a little bit because, um, we have some participants. We have some, yeah, some people that they're going to. I'm going just to prepare something, so prepare an activity. Well, um, we're going to check a question here. Rosalie, are you there? Are you okay to participate? Hello, Peter. I'm fine. Okay, perfect. 
Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Rosalie. Okay. Here we have a question that is, how much time have you been learning English? So I need you to answer. Imagine some of you have been han estado, algunos han estado estudiando inglés or you have been learning English for a um, lot of years. For example, from high school, from seventh grade, or if you attended before to some other uh, English academies, okay, or some other English courses, you can mention it, okay? So uh, what I need you to do is to write the number of years, okay? For example, you can say five years, and that's okay. Depends on you, okay? I'm going to be waiting for your answers here in the chat. How much time? Okay, cuánto tiempo? How much time have you been learning English, okay? Let's share some answers, and I'm going to be reading your well, this chat. Okay, let's uh, read some of your answers. Okay. Guillermo, okay, tell me, Guillermo, for years, I'm studying uh, here in INSA for, or studying with some other English courses, in your case. Because you say... I think four years in como sumando todos los meses porque ha sido como irregular. Okay, some okay, yes, including all, all, all the months. Okay, yeah, okay, that's perfect. Thank you, Irmo. And Daniel, less than a year. Oh, okay, that's good. So you uh, began here, Daniel, with Insafort. Aquí he comenzado con Insafort, Daniel. Is that true, right?
Yeah. Okay, perfect. Let's see who else? Vamos a ver quién más tenemos acá. Evelyn, six months. Approximately. Here with Insafort, Evelyn. Yes, it's a perfect. Um, Rosalie, six years of school until this year five continues. Uh, this year five continues months ago. Okay, Rosalie, thank you. So you mentioned that you study uh, also at school, right? But maybe formally uh, five months ago. That's okay because you are advancing, Rosa. Thank you. Very nice. And let's see, we're going to move now. Remember that maybe we can have uh, some other English courses or you can learn by yourself. Pueden aprender por ustedes mismos. You can be self-didactics. Que es autodidacta. A lot of people uh, study different things by themselves, watching videos, reading, practicing. Okay, so that's it. And here we have Gustavo, seven months. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, always with Insafor. Siempre con Insafor. Uh, two months in en un curso de una alcaldía. Okay, there was another English course. Okay, that's nice. Good because you practice and you have uh, some other experience. It is good to have experience from some other academies or English courses because you can compare or you can uh, learn by different methodologies, okay, strategies. Thank you, Gustavo. Okay, here we have also Maritza. Hi, Maritza. Okay, Hello. Maritza. Hello, we are asking Hello. how much time, ¿cuánto tiempo llevas aprendiendo inglés? How much time learning English? Seven months. Seven months, that's okay. You're advancing in seven months. Good. Thank you. Okay. Eduardo, what about you, my friend? What's your case? Hi, teacher. Hello there. Uh, I you have... Uh -huh. How much time? Well, since I begin to learn English, uh, maybe um, 10 years. Okay, nice, 10 years. Okay, thank you. Yeah, a lot of time. I remember that we study some months and then we stop or we work or we have some other situations, right? So accumulated, yes, yes. Right. you include all the months, all the time that you have been studying, if you notice, it is a lot of time. So you you have dedicated a lot of time learning English, okay? I'm going to check the attendance list, but first, just give me a second. Okay, um, I'm going to call you one by one and I need you to uh, tell me hi, hello, good evening. And then one of these phrases, these phrases are useful for trips. When you go to a different country, you go to a different uh, city, but you have to speak in English. For example, here we have, what's the name of this street? 
what's the name of this street? How long does it take to get there? How long does it take to get there? Where is the market? At the end of the street, who will be our guide? Who will be our guide? I'm a foreigner. Foreigner, como un grupo que se llama Foreigners. Very good group, very good band. Can I have a guide? Guide. Can I have a guide? How much does this tour cost? How much does this tour cost? Where is the nearest pharmacy? Where is the nearest, nearest pharmacy? Where is the nearest restaurant? So you can use this word to ask uh, for some other things. For example, where is the nearest supermarket? Where is the nearest park? Or where is the nearest um, police station? Okay. So this is like a very common question that you, and it is like kind of useful. Okay, I'm going to call you one by one. You tell me, hi, hello, good evening. And then one of these phrases. Adi Reyes, I guess no, right? Christy, I don't know if Christy is here. Okay, we go with Luisa. Luisa sometimes appears suddenly. Uh, Thank you, Luisa. Okay, uh, Andre is as a listener. Rivas, are you there, Rivas? Okay, maybe no. Daniel, okay, Daniel. Good evening. Thank you, teacher. Hi, hello. Good evening. Okay. What's the name of the street? Thank you very much. David, well, I guess David is as a listener, right? Hello, teacher. Oh, hello. good evening. Good evening, teacher. Where's Thank the you. market? Perfect. Uh, Evelyn. Hi, Evelyn. Evelyn, good evening. Okay. How long That's... does it take to get there? You? How yeah, long no? does it take to Mm -hmm. Together, thank you. Okay, Guillermo, hi. Hi, teacher, present. Uh, who will be our guide? Good. John, we don't have John here, right? Okay, Katia, I don't know if Katia is here. Okay, uh, Maritza. Hello. Hello there. Uh, at the end of the street. Thank you. Gustavo. Hi, teacher. Hello there. How much does this to... Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oscar Daniel, are you there? Okay. Hello. Me estoy conectando, teacher. Okay, no, thank you. no, no me había podido conectar. Ya me, okay. ya me incorporo bien. Gracias, Daniel. Gracias, Oscar. Eh, aquí estaremos pendiente. Eh, Eduardo. Present eh, at the end of the street. Perfect. Rosalie, hi. Good evening. Where is the nearest pharmacy? Okay, very nice. Thank you. Me, <laughs> teacher. Hello, Luisa. Uh, sí, number 12. Where's uh, the new restaurant? Thank you. Yeah, very nice. Thank you, Luisa. Are you sick? Time for Good evening, teacher. Hello, Susie. Everything okay? Good evening. Good evening. Can you participate? 
Yes, teacher. Okay. <laughs> ya no la veo. Leina. Ok, perfecto. Ok, no hay problema. Pero puedes participar okay. si sigo, vas manejando. No, teacher, sí puedo participar ahora. Ok, perfecto. Thank you. Thank eh, you. Uh -huh. Quiero ver. At the end of the street. Yeah. At the end of the street. Oh, the street, thank you. Okay, um, here we have a question that is, where do you usually request a permission form? Mm -hmm. We're going to check it later. Who is the last person who signed them? Mm -hmm. But here we have a conversation be between Mr. Ray and Ashley. Mr. Ray and Ashley. Good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Hank. Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? No, not yet, sir. Okay, where do you want to start? What about how to request a permission? Sounds good. I will explain them to you first. Yeah, comienza. So this word procedures, it is like this. Procedures, procedimiento. Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? No, no yet, sir. Esta frase sería bueno que la notara. No yet. No yet es aún no. For example, uh, did you have dinner? ¿Ya, ya cenaste? No yet. Okay. Uh, it is very common. And what about request a permission? Sounds good. Okay. Procedures. No yet. Um, so uh, Ashley is new in the company. He's new. And she is uh, beginning to work in there. So Mr. Ray, uh, he's uh, trying to explain different things. And the first uh, aspect that, uh, that Ashley asked, it's about per request of permission. Okay. We're going to have a practice. Uh, Maritza, please, could you help me? Sending this uh, screenshot to the group, and I'm going to order the teams. Voy a ordenarlos. Thank you. Thank you, Maritza. So let's take a look. Okay, my friends. See you in a moment. Lo veo un momento. Después regresamos acá para la práctica general. Please accept the request.
Hello, Ana Luisa, ¿todo bien? Me sacó dos veces ya la plataforma. No sé si me puede incorporar a un grupo. Ok. Eh, ya te envío a otro por cualquier cosa. Gracias. Para probar. Ok.
Okay, my friends, we are back here. So we're going to check the pronunciation of this short conversation. Uh, this is very simple, right? Because it's, it's very brief. Maybe we can have the participation of Eduardo and Rosalie. Could you pronounce this, please? It is a short conversation between um, Mr. Ray and Ashley, Eduardo and Rosalie. You tell me. Me dicen si puede. Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect, please. Eduardo. Eduardo, are you there? Well, maybe. Yes. Is... Okay, perfect. Okay, uh, I start. Uh, okay. Good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Hank. Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? No, not yet, sir. Okay, where do you want to start? What about how to request a permission? Sounds good. I will explain them to you first. Thank you very much. Perfect. Maybe we can have the participation of Gustavo and Oscar Daniel. Okay, okay, okay. teacher. Wonderful. Good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to the company. Thank you, Mr. Hong. Do you know the procedure and rule it on our company? No, not yet, sir. Okay, where do you want to start? What about how to request a permission? Sound good. I will explain them to you first. Mm -hmm. That's it. Thank you very much. Okay, now let's go to the question part. Getting per well, discuss who is Ashley, okay? And here we have number one, who is Ashley? Number two, who is the person in charge of introducing new employees to the company? Maybe we can have the participation of Guillermo and Maritza. Okay, Guillermo, please select one of these two questions. Who is Ashley or who is the person in charge of introducing new employees to the company? Okay. Um... Number uh, two, mm -hmm. the person in charge of introducing the new employees to the company is uh, Mr. Hank. Okay, that's it. So he's the person, yeah, uh, who gives all the information, okay, who presents or uh, gives like a, a guide around the company. Thank you. Maritza, uh, could you help me with go, uh, question number one? Who is Ashley? Ashley is the new employee. Yeah, easy piece. Ashley is the new employee. That's it. Thank you. Okay, we're going to move to the first speaking activity. Tell something about your experience learning English all these years. Uh, it, it can be positive. It can be negative, it can be like a limitation, an opportunity, or you can talk about your objectives, whatever you want to say. Commonly, we may uh, say things about uh, the, some difficulties that we have had, or maybe some positive things that we have learned, okay? Tell something about your experience learning English all these years okay we're going to check this maybe we can start with susie susie are you there i don't know if susie Teacher, is... no pudimos practicar porque creo que david está solo como oyente okay no problem but let's move to the speaking activity ah okay bye uh -huh. Tell something about your experience learning English these years. 
as I get the experience of learning English, mm -hmm. what, what do you think? Something good or, or, or bad about learning English? Okay, deme un segundito que ya tenía aquí. Ah, okay, yeah. Mi, take, mi idea take a Yeah, Ahorita. of course. We have some ideas or okay. notes. Mm -hmm. So that, that's important. We can have like a better uh, um, guide mm -hmm. or a draft. Okay. Um, my experience learning English is more than 20 years. <laughs> quizá. Okay. Yeah, uh, but... Um, but maybe fears always wins me at aside from the um from the fact that I should spend more time on it. Mm -hmm. Um No sé cómo como el, el miedo, teacher, a, a hablar más que todo ha sido siempre mi problema. Yeah, like fear or insecurity to speak. So Ajá, the that could fear be... a, a vol, a, of speaking. Of speaking, okay. Speak, of speaking about it has always been my greatest One limitation. Difficulty. Yeah, yeah, la, 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 one difficulty. But you speak really good, uh, Susie. But sometimes we have some limitations and we have to work on it. Okay, thank you. Very nice. Yeah, because a lot of time practicing, learning more words. Okay, that's it. Perfect. What about Rosalie and then Eduardo? Rosalie, are you ready to give your uh, opinion about your experience learning English? Okay, teacher. In my experience, um, to learn learning in, in the high school, mm -hmm. and I learned more in, in the time, and I like I like this uh, language, okay. and learn learn um, much many songs. In English, mm -hmm. for example, Backstreet Boy, um, Britney Spears, of Westlife, course. in all, all, um, ¿cómo se diría todo eso? All mm -hmm. the, all, all about it. All, all about of it. I help, I help me more. And yes. in the in is the time um, when um, era de las primeras como se, the first you students were, yeah the first students okay. the first students in my class for English. Hey, wow, that's it. Yeah, it's because you had an inspiration, Rosalie. You have that motivation to understand the lyrics of Bass Street Boys or Britney Spears. You wanted to know what are they saying? How they sing like that? How they pronounce that? And that's really good. That, that kind of music is perfect for learning English. Good for you, Rosalie. Uh, yes, actually, in, when I was studying, I learned a lot of English by practicing songs similar to you. Thank you, Rosalie. Okay, Eduardo and then Oscar Daniel. Okay, Eduardo. Any idea about this? Yes, teacher. Uh, like I say, I learned English since 10 years, maybe. Okay. And the, the experience uh, more, uh, what I more remember is in Itka. Okay. Uh, I have in the first year study there uh, a teacher what is very fun very funny uh, we have maybe all the year uh, we don't don't learn maybe many English uh, in the second year when I was here we changed the 
the teacher. She's a she she was a woman. Okay. And she como se dice reforzar o reforzó? Reinforce. Reinforce. She, yes, she reinforced uh, all the things what we don't see in the last year that oh, okay. we, we be with with she. And but the first the first year it was was to be uh, very interesting in this situation and the second uh, are very uh, uh, different very different. different yeah it was yes. like the teachers are different the methodology yes. is different and even and yeah, if there are some other topics, I understand that, but good because in Italy they have good teachers. Yes, I know I have some friends in there and they are good teachers. So, good experience with you. Yes, it was a good experience, really. Okay, very nice, Eduardo. Yeah, I like it. Thank you very much. Okay, we go now with Oscar Daniel. I don't know if you are ready to hear about your experience learning. Yes, teacher. Uh, uh, mm, in, in, me, in my case, uh, I started with a little bit of high school, maybe. Uh, the truth is that the, I didn't like it very much, but in the work area, I really like it mainly for professional role. Okay. And currently I am the delighted with the opportunity to learn it through the INSAFOR program. Of course. That's it. Thank you, Oscar. And that's very nice because uh, you can grow in your company. Okay. And in different areas, you can have a, even a, a better position. Yes. Uh, thank you. A very nice point. Thank you so much. Maybe Gustavo can tell us something about his experience. Hi, teacher. Uh, my experience is learning English this year is very good. I feel that I have learned a, a lot. Uh, thank you to to the teachers who have very good the teaching uh, method. Okay, yeah, that's it. Uh, as you were saying, every teacher has a method. It's different, right? So yes. yeah, you you can learn something from every teacher. Thank you, Gustavo. Good okay. for you. I like all your opinions, Marita. And then we go with Guillermo. Okay, Maritza. I don't know. You can tell us something about you. My, mm -hmm. my experience learning English is good. Mm -hmm. I like English, but the pronunciation is complicated for me. Mm -hmm. But I consider that I have learned a little. <laughs> I guess you have learned a lot, a lot, because your pronunciation is good. Remember that we we make mistakes, we confuse words, uh, letters, or phrases, right? Me permiten un minuto, segundo. Vamos a darle una revisada a esto y luego seguimos con Speaking Activity. Vamos a leerlo un momento y luego explicamos.
Well, here we have this. Uh, these are called procedures. And here we have read the procedure to request permission at the DAC company. Okay. And we're going to mm, check this. Maybe you can read it one by one. Uh, I need you to help me. Um, maybe Luisa, can you help me from one to three, please? Okay, teacher. The number one, the first, mm -hmm. bring the request from that ability in the stream. Okay, uh, available. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Uh, okay. Number two. Okay. Uh, me, teacher. Yes, you. One, two, and okay. three. Okay. Okay. Fill out the form. Okay, the fill form. out the form. Yeah. Write the reason for the permission. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Okay. Uh, maybe we can have Daniel or five and six. Okay. It's read. No, no order. Yeah, number four. Four, five, four. and six. Five and six. Write yeah. a time and that you will be absent. Okay. Number five. Specify. Specify if it is due to medical or person reason. Mm -hmm. And six, ask for the department manager signature. Yeah, signature, so important, the signature, because that permits you to have a valid document or not. And finally, maybe we can have uh, Eduardo, seven, eight, uh, and nine. Could you please? Okay. Present the form at the Human Resource Office. The human resource assistant will receive the form and sing it if it is accept. accepted. Mm -hmm. And if the human resources assistant does not accept the form, the permission is it's, denied. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. I'm going to select some of these words that I consider so important. We have permission. Okay. And uh, here has some other that is available, available. And this is due, due. Uh, this is signature, signature. Esta se dice sign, que significa señal, pero también firmar. Pero signature significa firma. Okay, and this is denied. Denied es negar. Okay, available. This word is very important. I recommend you to write the pronunciation if you want or uh, please practice it because uh, this is important. Okay. It's like available. Available. This is permission. This is you. Due, this is signature, okay. This is sign, yes, is denied. Sign, sign, and denied, denied, okay. So, this is the procedure to request permission. If you notice, um, yeah, this is internet, not intranet. This is internet, this is a mistake. If you notice in this manual, we have uh we have seen a couple of mistakes, right? So well, uh, first print the request. Fill out significa llenar o completar. Fill out the form. You can fill out the form for for traveling to another country, or maybe to yeah to make a reservation. Uh, different aspects. Write the reason, okay? 
Write the time and day you will be absent. Yes. Yeah. Specify if it is due. Especificar si es debido a. Due significa debido a. Si es debido a medical or personal reasons. Ask the department manager. Well, signature. Present the form. After your boss, your supervisor, or the man manager signs, you present that document to the human resources and depends on that if they accept it you are okay but if they don't accept that document it means that they are going to deny it. Lo van a negar. and then we're going to have some problems right and yeah definitely we can have some problems if we uh, we don't have like an accepted document Okay, look at this. Here we have permission form. Okay, here we have the name. Here we have the date, the reasons, manager's uh, signature, and HR assistant signature. Okay, I needed to do something. Okay, in this case, uh, we're going to create this. If you want to do it in your cell phone, in your, or by hand, si lo van a hacer a mano, no hay problem. I need this. And the signature, it is not necessary. No es necesaria la, la, la firma. Porque, because imagine this is just imaginary or hypothetical uh, case. Okay. So, but what is important? The, the name, the date, let's invent. And the reason, aquí lo que va a ir acá es lo importante. Con, qué, con, ¿Qué razón considera? What reason do you consider it is important for you to ask for to be absent or permission? O sea que como vamos a hacer algo, pues, como inventado. But you tell me the reason. When you finish, please send this picture, send this picture to the chat in Zoom. Envíenlo al chat de Zoom y ahí lo vamos a estar leyendo todos. Or if you want, you can have a screenshot. Pueden tomar una captura pantalla de esto y encima lo pueden editar. That's no problem, okay? So, please, uh, let's try to make this uh, to seem like real. Vamos a hacerlo para ser real. Name, your name, the date, la fecha que necesitan pedir permiso, and the reason y la razón, okay? I'm going to give you a couple of minutes. Let's do a par de minutos para que lo hagan. And then we're going to read the reasons you consider are valid for uh, the for the permission. Okay? Let's do a par de segundos.
Okay, maybe we can see what you have. I don't know if you have already the reasons. I'm checking here that maybe you can. Teacher, es, si, se, si lo hice en el cuaderno, le tomé foto, lo puedo no subir. Yeah, of course, you can do it. Yeah. Uh, can you send it here to the chat Zoom? Al, the Zoom de chat, lo pueden enviar. Okay, thank you, Rosalie. Perfect. We're going to wait the others. Maybe you can send this. Some of you can take notes and do it in your notebook, on some paper, or you can have it. Uh, yeah, of course. Eduardo uh, texted that. Yeah, it is okay as well. No problem. Okay, here we have Rosalie and Eduardo. We're going to wait for the others because um, we need to check this activity from the manual. Okay, I'm sorry for uh, asking for some time. Thank you for waiting for me. 
And here we have this. I would like you to read yours, Rosalie, please. Could you? Uh, the reason. La razón sería. Hello, Rosalie. Hello, teacher. Perdón, me he levantado. Okay, ajá. Medical appointment, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué más Mis dice? The med medical appointment will take control for my son. Okay, thank you. Yeah, that's very valid. Good. A child control. Okay. And let's see who goes later. We're going to have this Eduardo and then um, Guillermo. Okay, Eduardo, you go, my friend. Okay. Uh, my reason I have a tooth age and I want to go to the dentist today for check about this. <laughs> Perfect, yeah, and even today it's uh, really painful. It is uh, uncomfortable, of course. You can't do yes. your, your work if you have that problem. Thank you, Guillermo and Oscar Daniel. Okay, uh, well, name, Guillermo Abrego, date, uh, today. <laughs> hmm. And the reason, uh, the reason I have a package Okay. So I need some medicine. Medicine, of course. Yeah. Very valid. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Perfect. Uh, Oscar Daniel and then Daniel. Okay, teacher. Uh, my reason is for a meeting in the school of my daughter. Okay. For a, you can say like emergency meeting. Uh, yeah. in your yes daughter school okay that could be uh, Daniel and then Evelyn okay Daniel okay the permission form is for for Noé Núñez and they is September 20, 20, 28 okay Perfect. The reason is uh, live for family matters. Okay, family matters. Okay. And Evelyn and then Susie. Okay, Evelyn, what about yours? Okay, maybe Evelyn is not ready. Uh, yes. Carolina. Uh, Day twenty three. I um, I tomorrow tomorrow I will have an appointment with the dentist. Okay, appointment with the dentist. Thank you. Yeah, so you are uh, yeah, asking for permission for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. That's it. Uh, Susie and then Maritza. Okay, Susie. Okay. Permission for name, Susie Rosales. Date, 23, 8, 23. Reasons to extract, extractions. Manager signature. Okay, thank you. Yeah, even uh, tooth extraction is very delicate. And that's it. Um, so remember, we have some tooth that they need to be extracted. Thank you. And Maritza, please. Name, Maritza Elizabeth Martinez. Date, 24, 24. Reason, personal reason. Okay, personal reasons. Thank you. Mm, okay. Thank you, my friends. Let's move to the speaking activity we were talking about. 
Uh, you were saying very important and valid points about this. So the last person was Maritza that he told us. And we go now with Guillermo. I don't know if you said about your experience, I guess. I don't know. I don't I didn't know. No lo noté. I don't know if you participated, Guillermo. No, teacher. Okay, please go ahead, my friend. Mm, okay, some experience learning English. Uh, I think the one of them is the possibility to learn in different way. Mm, because I have a different method okay to teach to to the others some are um, more exciting and some other are a little bit boring but it, it's okay <laughs> Okay, so nice, ah, perfect. So you have have like different types of experiences, right? So thank you. And now we can have uh, Evelyn. I don't know if you are there, Evelyn. To share about uh, your experience learning English. Okay, if Evelyn is not ready, maybe we go with Daniel and then yeah. Luisa. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, Evelyn, please go ahead. I call it fun um, interesting. Um, I, um, I have removed my fear of mm -hmm. from, 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 from now, okay, the, okay, the, like the pronunciation, yeah. Sometimes it happens. Thank you, Evelyn. And uh, yeah, remember that we have like different types of uh, experiences and different types of methodologies, uh, strategies, teachers, so that's it. Thank you. Okay, David, I don't know if David is available. If not, we go with Daniel. Okay, in my experience, I consider the, the English is very important. And in my case, Verda is a very important. And okay. I tend to continue in studying, studying because it is uh, like a, a lot of, for me. Okay. Yeah, so important in this uh times thank you daniel luisa are you there okay teacher and uh, one years in university okay uh, five months here is uh if it's no practice <laughs> it's a difficulty difficulty uh, do the first is being bro, but English is very important. Yeah, of course. Even if you take time, uh, it is like you have to, well, uh, complete the, the objective. You have to continue, well, like working in something, even if it is difficult. Okay, so thank you, Lisa. Very nice. Okay, my friends, uh, I don't know who was in third of the song. Susi, creo que a ti te había tocado, ¿verdad, Susi? No sé si dije a Susi. Sí, a Susi creo que dejé. No preparé. No. I'm sorry. Okay. No, teacher, no la preparé. Okay. No escuché quizás ayer que me, me dijera. Okay, creo que sí, sí te, te comenté, pero bueno, no hay problema. Okay, um, we had this um, uh, grammar structure about 
to your request. Okay, so here we have this. Look, here we have like different um situations. Like I'm going to. Could you just give me a second? So uh, what we're going to do is to complete this. Um, here we have an example. Okay. Letter A. I'm going to the supermarket. Letter B. Could you please buy some milk? Okay. Sure. No problem. Uh, could you? It's used as polite way to ask for something. Así que utilizamos could para solicitar algo de manera amable. Okay. Then here we have completed conversations below. Uh, number one, I am going to Starbucks. Uh, B, could you please get me a cup of coffee? Okay. And here we have some other uh, some other phrases. I'm going to a library. I'm going to our English class. I'm going to the kitchen. So these other phrases and situations, we have to use food. For a question and uh, we are asking for a favor y estamos pidiendo un favor me podrías traer tal cosa podríamos ir podríamos eh, practicar podríamos prepararnos o podrías prepararte o podrías eh, comprarme tal cosa ok so i'm going to mcdonald's i'm going to the post office i'm going to a pet shop ok so we're going to work in pairs vamos a trabajar en equipo acá I need to have a screenshot here, maybe like this. I guess like this. Maritza, could you send this? And then we come back. We have just three activities. Solo tenemos tres actividades. This and two more. And we say goodbye because we have just 29 minutes. Solo 29 minutes y terminamos la clase. Okay, my friends. So go ahead. Um, Maritza, please and send this if. If you could make uh, that favor to me. And we're going to work in pairs. Trabajar en equipo. Me too, sir. Okay. Hello. Thank you, Lisa. Okay, nice. So, uh, I'm going to give you a couple of minutes. Try, please. Uh, try, please, to, to ask a question related to every situation. Okay? And then we come back. Please accept the request. See you in a couple of minutes. Okay, Eduardo, I need you to accept the request. Maritza as well. Thank you so much, my friends. Okay, just Eduardo. Ana Cristina, Cristi, I don't know if you're ready to accept. Eduardo, you have some difficulties with the request?
Okay, my friends. Okay, let's try to complete this. And we have two more activities and we say goodbye. Okay. So number one uh, is I'm going to Starbucks. Uh, the answer could be, or the question, could you please get me a cup of coffee? We're going to um, check the others from two to 10. And for this, we're going to have Daniel, please could you help me with one and then we go with Evelyn. Okay, Daniel, select one of these from number, two. To the number seven. Seven, okay. Could you help me please uh, with the, uh, no, pardon, could you please give me a math prop? Uh, okay. Could you please give me a, a I'm sorry, what um, did you say? Um, hamburger, so like I said. <laughs> uh, hamburger, okay. Yeah, could it be. Or you can say, get me. Consigue una hamburguesa. Get me a hamburger. Thank you, Evelyn, please. And then we go with David. If possible, Evelyn, are you there? Number two. Mm -hmm. Do you help me a book? Okay. Thank you. David, are you there? If not, we go with Eduardo. Okay, if they is not available, Eduardo and then Rosalie. Uh, number six. Mm -hmm. I'm going to the vegetable markets and could you get me a call? I don't know he's it's correct. Okay. Okay. What about Rosalie? And the then number, Guillermo. Number three. Number three. We could go together, uh, please. Uh, okay. Could we? Could uh, we? Could we go? go together, please? Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can add the word please, so you can be very polite. Okay. That's it, yeah, Guillermo and then Gustavo. Okay, and number four, mm -hmm. I'm going to the kitchen. Could you please cook our breakfast? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Could you please, that's another form to say it, and that's, that's okay, that's perfect, thank you. Uh, Gustavo and then Oscar Daniel. Okay, teacher. Um, uh, number ten. Number ten. I'm going home. Mm -hmm. uh, could you ca call me when you you are home, please? Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. Could you could you call me when you get home, please? You know. That's valid. Thank you. Oscar Daniel, and then we go with Luisa. Okay, teacher. Um, number number eight. Number eight. Uh, could you please get me a pack? Package. Package, que es un paquete. Thank you. Yes, that's correct. Uh, we go with Luisa, right? And then Susie. Okay, okay. Luisa. Okay. And the night, number nine. Number nine. Uh -huh. um, you play help me a uh, song for my cats. Uh, so. Yes. Like this. Okay. 
or my cat. Thank you. And let's see, Susie, if you are there, could you help me with number uh, five, number, please? Uh, number five? Mm -hmm. Could you please take me with you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. So remember the word uh, could it's pronounced with uh, without the O and the L. No se dice could, sino could. Okay. Like this. Could. Así se pronuncia. Could. Okay. Could. But very nice job, my friends. Let's move to the other part of this. Just to, we're about to finish, just uh, 10 minutes. Okay, and here we have talk about, talk about something negative about your personal education. When I say personal education, I mean the things that you experience at school. If you if you studied in a public school, if you studied in a private school, or if you study um, far away from home. So let's talk about negative aspects about your personal education related to schools, related to the teachers, okay? Could it be, for example, one reason? Or you can say school was too far from home. Okay. I need you to write just one. Okay. Here I'm writing um, two, two aspects. But uh, just write one. Okay. From remember, maybe the teachers, maybe your classmates or, or or partners maybe they were not friendly maybe they uh, used to practice bullying for, for the other students maybe they didn't like studying English because that's something that happened to me when I was at high school I remember that I really loved English but the rest of my classmates didn't like English so when the teacher was Explaining, the other uh, students were not paying attention. So the teacher didn't explain well, and I wanted to learn more, but I couldn't because of that. Okay. So try to remember some other situations, aspects that you remember from school. And maybe we're going to finish here if you want, but. Uh, we're not going to do the other activity. And almost la otra actividad. Solo terminamos con esta, okay? So remember, negative aspects about your personal education, okay? Like, yeah, schools, the place, uh, teachers, classmates, methodology. Maybe you didn't have books uh, because now you can see that students have tablets or computers. And in the past, we wanted some books and we didn't have books. Uh, maybe the restrooms or the bathrooms at school. Uh, could it be maybe there are some teachers that they have preferences with some students. That something that is real. Even the teachers uh, say that it is not true. Yeah, sometimes it happens. So I'm going to be waiting for your answers. And we're going to finish, but I need your opinion about this. Try to remember. Okay, I'm going to give you a couple of seconds. So let's see what are your, your opinions about that.
Okay, let's see. Uh, Eduardo, could you read your, your, your answers, please? And then we go with Rosalie. Okay, uh, I read in the secondary, I have a teacher in class of math who I don't be, I don't be pleasant to him. Okay, I was not pleasant to him. I was not. Okay. okay, maybe the attitude of that teacher was not the correct, right? And right. yeah, commonly teach mathematics teachers, I don't know why I consider that they are complicated. Maybe because of the, the, the subject, I don't know, but yeah, they are kind of complicated. Thank you, Eduardo. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'm so sorry for that, but yeah, it usually happens. Rosalie and Daniel. Um, the school has not computed. Although technology was scarce at the time. Okay, maybe the school uh, doesn't have computers. Okay, all the technology was scarce at the time. Yeah, I remember uh, the internet was not so common as now. So now... now okay. Yes, they have in more. The years, in the years, in, I remember, in 1999, 2000. Okay, 1999, <laughs> yes. Even, I don't know if you remember, if you receive a uh, computation, that uh, they used to teach a uh, word Excel, they didn't teach well. No, 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 enseñaron Excel. So imagine, yeah. Very, but very different as now. Thank you, Rosalie. Uh, Daniel, and then we go with Maritza. Okay, Daniel, please, your opinion. Okay. Uh, when I when I was studying, the teacher didn't want to pass our notes when, uh, when we play in soccer. Okay, so uh, the teacher didn't like that you played soccer, that's what you mean? So you have some problems with that? Yeah, yeah. Eh, nosotros jugamos en la selección y cuando jugamos no nos quieren pasar las notas. Yeah, that's something that maybe the teachers, they are not, I don't know what, they have that attitude. Because if you play in a, in that team, it's because you are representing the school, right? So yeah. you are representing, and the teachers, they they have to understand that, but uh, some of them are very close. Son como bien cerrados algunos. Thank you, Daniel. Uh, Maritza, and then David. In the school, the mathematics teacher didn't teach us what we needed. Yeah, uh, I can imagine. In elementary school, I had that problem, but in, in high school, I had a good teacher in mathematics. But in the past, it was like very, very complicated. And all the time when you go to high school, they say, you had to have seen this uh, in elementary school. Tuvieron que haber visto eso. And we were like, no. <laughs> pues, ¿sí? Eh? So that's it. Thank you, Maritza. David and then Oscar, please. Hello, teacher. Uh, in my case, I was educated uh, only by mother. I took, took care of my brothers too. Wow. So very, very interesting. And as you mentioned, I have known some people that they learn to read because of their parents not because of the teachers. So maybe, well, that's a very special case, a uh, very uh, wonderful uh, person, your mother. Did. Thank you for sharing. Okay, yeah. Oscar, Daniel, and Guillermo. And we finish. Okay, teacher, uh, in my, my opinion, uh, a lot of theory and little practice of the real problems in the world. Mm -hmm. That's correct. So uh, a lot of uh, theories, reading, and we 
need practice to learn. That's correct. Thank you. Okay. Guillermo, we, we finish with you. Okay, uh, teacher. In my school, and uh, doesn't have AC in the classroom. Well, uh huh. Okay, so uh, I can imagine that. Okay. Uh, thank you, Guillermo, for sharing. We have also Evelyn not being able to finish university due to lack of financial resources. That's another problem. Not enough scholarship. No hay eh, pues, eh, scholarships, verdad? Becas suficientes y oportunidades. Thank you, my friends. Eh, Rosalí, te puedes quedar un momento al final, please. Rosalí, hello. Ok, ya me voy. Yes, okay. okay, thank you. El resto deja el pulgar arriba y de esa manera paso lista. Ok, see you tomorrow. Solo faltan dos clases. Eh, avance con las actividades, las tareas. See you, my friends. Thumb up, pulgar arriba y paso lista de esa manera. Good night, Jim. Good night, my friends. Bye bye. See you. Okay, Rosalie, uh, questions, difficulties, or uh -huh, alguna interrogante, una inquietud que tengas? No, teacher, I haven't. <laughs> okay, I, have I don't have, any. I don't have. Okay, sí, porque si dices I haven't, Here, sería presente perfecto. I, I learn, I learn much. Oh, a lot. Okay. I, yeah. I learn a lot. Yes. Perfect. Yes. yes. Uh, Rosalie. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. I'm sorry. You were saying. Mm -hmm. And the topic. Um. I see. Um. ¿Cómo se dice como re, um, repetido? No repetido, sino que como que más refuerzo. Reinforce. In the, the module module three. In the could, could and can, should and I no, don't remember. What you don't otro, remember pero, could and the, can. Uh, can uh, how how we use the can and could. Eh, también lo vimos en la unidad tres. Y así oh. que en, en el módulo tres, así que este es como un refuerzo okay. y lo he estado. Yes, okay, perfect, well. because that's useful, muy, muy útil. So, um, yes. you studied that in module number three, but now you have a reinforcement. You have a reinforce yes. and you understand better. Uh, okay, Rosalie, um, I know that it is difficult for you to, to be in class because you have a baby, right? Yes, teacher. I know. No, no. <laughs> Ahorita estaba durmiendo. I Por know, Rosalie. I, I yes. believe me. I I know the sacrifice that you are doing. I know that you work all the day. When you get home, you have few time, uh, for for your kids and you prepare for the class. So, I I marry you. Te admiro bastante. Espero que sigas así. Estás avanzando bastante. I can notice that you have a very very Thank you, teacher. Verdad, así que, ánimo, ¿te vas a inscribir en el otro módulo? Sí, ya, 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 lo voy a hacer, a, yo digo, aunque sea un, el principiante, sí, <ríe> que pero, pueda terminar. Fíjate, fíjate, Rosalí, que, o sea, solo es este módulo y ya terminas todo el nivel principiante. Sí. Then, then you're going to be in intermediate, ya vas a estar en intermedio, ya, ya es otro nivel. Ya es el 30% de todo el curso, porque un, el, cada, cada nivel tiene seis módulos. Solo sí. que el intermedio sí tiene, quiero ver, tiene una semana más, creo. Creo que tiene como una semana sí, más. Sí, así estaba leyendo en los... Es que tiene más horas. En information. Information, ajá. Uh -huh. yes. Pero but, no, Ani. Uh, eh, um, um sacrifice yeah i know and i like i like 
I know you like English. Y creo que hoy ya entendemos a las letras, ¿verdad? Y a la pronunciación. Yes. Sí, se siente bien, ¿verdad? It feels good. Se siente realmente bien. I, I see in the phrase, the phrases in the sound, in the in the place oh is this is this uh, ¿cómo se dice? esto significa tal cosa this o sea, means yo más. Uh -huh, this uh -huh. means that and all those so you you feel good right se siente bien you feel good because you understand some things but you're going to understand some others so uh, congratulations verdad solo nos quedan dos clases más y después no sé cuánto sí. se daría pues para descansar un poquito verdad pero sí. ánimo, Rosalí, ¿verdad? Así que te vería mañana, solo hagamos da este último intento, ya casi terminamos el módulo, ¿ok? Sí, teacher. Yeah. Ánimo, pasa feliz noche entonces. Good night, teacher. See Good you night, tomorrow. see you tomorrow. Bye, bye.